Yo, what's going on YouTube? Technically T bringing you another video today, another case video for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And you already see we have cases on deck from Rinke, man. So a huge shot to Rinke for sending me these cases to review. So you know we already got, man. We got the Fusion X, we got the Clear, we got the Onyx, we got the Air S. Let's go ahead and get into one by one, starting off probably with the least protective and that's probably going to be your air s so let's go ahead and get into it so yeah first up man ring k air s now this is going to be your very minimalistic case this is going to be your tpu definitely a flimsy ish type tpu case i think this is one of their new you know their new lineups from ring k man so uh very simplistic as you can see just straight up black case you get some ring k branding down here cut out for your camera your cutouts for your buttons and everything very very simplistic case from ring case so let's just go ahead and slide the uh, pro max in here and let's go ahead and take a look at the case so even though with it being a very slim case you see you do get that camera protection on your back taking a look at the bottom you see all of your your speaker ports your lightning cable ports are spot on there taking a look at that power button nice and tactile we don't have no issues there volume up volume down also very nice towel and getting to that mute toggle switch no issues there taking a look at the lay on the tail protection that does have a little raised lip on the top and a little raised lip on the bottom now i do have a tempered glass screen protector but one thing for sure this is not going to give you any heavy duty drop protection but it does have a slight raised lip so if you do set your phone down on a tabletop face first you don't have to worry about your actual screen making contact with the surface that you're on so yes it does give you a tad bit of lay on the table protection next up how does it fit on the phone and actually surprisingly man it fits pretty good i thought this was going to give you more of a flimsy fit just because of how it felt outside when the case wasn't actually in it but with it all together it has a pretty nice decent fit i mean yes you do get a little tug and pull on the sides but your top and bottom also pulls a little bit but it's not terrible it actually has a decent fit i'll probably give it a good b minus when we're talking about the fit it's not great but it's not terrible so that b minus c plus range could it be a little bit more tighter yes would i like it a little bit more tighter yes of course but it is not absolutely terrible for the material that this case is made out of and how does it feel in your hand it actually doesn't have a bunch of grip it's actually very smooth in your hand because you gotta look at the sides and everything it's just one nice smooth tpu style case very simple so it doesn't offer you a lot of grip it does keep your device fairly thin but one thing to mention is these fingerprints and you can already see i'm getting tons of fingerprints on the back of the air s but that's if that's something that doesn't bother you you know sometimes fingerprints don't bother people out there so it is what it is dropping it down on the wireless charging yes it works just fine with wireless charging so here it is man ring k air s next up let's go ahead and take a look at the ring k clear case now we don't really have to go over the case a lot this is just like your air s except for it's clear so if you want to show off the color of that iphone whatever color that you do have this could be potentially an option for you man so let's go ahead and take a look at the case let's run through it on that back you see it does have a nice protection for that camera module flipping it over on the bottom you see your ports all are good to go let's take a look at that button press nice and tactile when we're talking about the power volume up volume down very nice tactile and getting to the mute toggle switch is not hard at all taking a look at that lay on the table protection that definitely has the same raised lip as the air s you have that little slope on the bottom you have that little slope on the top so you do have a little bit of a lay on tail protection if you were to lay this face down how does the case actually fit on the phone now once again it does pull and tug a little bit on the side so would i like this case to fit a little bit better yes i would it can definitely feel a little bit better it definitely can feel a little bit tighter so same thing goes with this as the air s man i give it like a b minus c plus type of deal when it comes to the fit definitely definitely needs to be a little bit more snug on the sides and how does it actually feel in your hand i mean it's a clear case if your hands develop moisture or anything like that please be aware because it could potentially get a little bit slippery but it's not terrible man it's a clear case that's what you're to expect when running any of these clear cases as always dropping down the wireless charger the ring k clear works just fine so here it is man if you want to take a look at the iphone if you want to show off the color then the ring k clear will definitely be one of the uh one of the options out there on the market now switching gears get into some of the ogs from ring k man this is going to be your onyx series now this is going to be a little bit of step up from your air s from your clear you get a little bit more material with this case so therefore i'm sure the fit is going to be that much better so not really much to see man taking it over on the back you do get a little design on the back you do get 
get a little bit of faux carbon fiber-esque looking material on the top and bottom. You get a little bit of Ring K branding down there and uh, Ring K Onyx and you know, that's, that's pretty much the case. So let's go ahead and slap the iPhone in it. Let's go ahead and take a look and see how everything is looking. So on the bottom, you already know, well actually on the back, you see that camera does have nice protection there. Take a look at the bottom, all of your ports are good to go and let's go ahead and take a look at these buttons. Nice and tactile, no issues. Taking the volume up, volume down. Very nice buttons as well. Now, one thing that's different about the Ring K Onyx this year is they have metal looking buttons. Now, I'm not sure if this is real metal or they are plastic. Same thing with the power button. Definitely a different outlook on this case because I'm used to seeing them just with raised rubber buttons, but it's not bad because they are tactile. So, you know, nice little addition to add a little bit of more spice to this on its case taking a look at the lay on the table protection now you do have a nice little lip on the bottom and a nice little lip on the top so if you do face this down you want to face it down put it on the table you should be good to go will it offer heavy duty drop protection i can't guarantee that but you do get a nice little lay on table protection to help you there next up how does it actually fit on the phone now the fit is pretty pretty good now this is the fit that we're getting to from rinke it should be fitting like this i want the air s i want the fusion clear i want them to fit a little bit like this and it's going to fit even better when we are talking about the fusion x but yes the fit is pretty decent i probably would give this fit more so on the b plus um you still do have a little bit of give on the size and i'm a stickler for this because there are so many cases that gets it right so therefore i'm going to be a stickler when we're talking about how these cases fit but overall can i live with this absolutely the fit is not terrible i'm just a stickler and i personally would like it to fit a little bit more snug on the size and i'm sure some of you out there can agree with me as well how does it feel in your hand it definitely feels pretty good keeps your device fairly thin now it does have some squared off edges here so even with that squared off design it definitely i feel like it helps with the grip a lot so it, overall the ring k onyx definitely feels good overall in your hand man and taking a look at the wireless charging it works just fine with wireless charging man so here it is ring k onyx last but not least let's go ahead and get into one of my all-time favorites man this is going to be a ring k fusion x now this is the camo version right here you're basically going to get that camo and it, at the same time it will show off the color of your phone so that's the one thing i really like about it if you have a white iPhone or any of the lighter colors this right here looks very good and I can just imagine this camo with that midnight green color I'm waiting for some of my partners out there that got the midnight green to review this case man because I feel like it's going to be a dope combo now real quick spoiler alert this is the case that I'm currently using on my Pro Max and that's saying a lot because I'm a case person so you know I'm a case snob but this is the one that's got it right I love everything about this case and I'm gonna tell you one thing if I had to change anything We'll go ahead and get into it, man. So here it is, Fusion X. You already see you do have a nice protection for that camera. Flipping over on the bottom, everything is nice and cut out. You see you kind of have that kind of loop design. It, it's just really made nice, refined design case down there. Volume up, volume down, very nice and tactile. And these does have a little bit of a plus and minus on them, so you can kind of tell where that's at. And your power button has some material on it, so you'll be able to find it pretty easy. Nice and tactile there as well with no issues at all. Taking a look at the lay on the tail protection. Now you do have a little lip on the top and you have a little lip on the bottom. So if you were to drop this face first, you are absolutely fine. Now I'm going to tell you the truth, man. I had this on my iPhone XS Max and I dropped that thing plenty of times with this case. And this case does not show drops at all. I mean, I don't know if I just dropped it on like smooth pavement but overall, I dropped this case. I dropped it at least like five or six times. And when I picked up the case, it looked absolutely fine. So that's another reason why I really like this. And for the drop protection, it's proven to me because I've dropped it plenty of times and I have no break, broke iPhones, no broke anything, man. So very nice drop protection with this case. Next up, how does it actually fit on the phone? And the fit is absolutely amazing. Now I'm putting and tugging. You already know you're going to get some putting and tugging when it comes to the button area. But everywhere else, it fits amazing. I just love the actual fit of this fusion x man so everything is good to go no issues at all absolutely a1 fit when it comes to this fusion x ring k you have it in you to make every case fit just as good as this fusion x you can kind of sacrifice to add a little bit more material to get that a1 fit because i'm gonna tell you right now man you guys have a hit with this fusion x and a lot of creators out there know it because a lot of people use this case as their daily driver and how does it feel in your hand man this is another reason why i really like this case it feels very good in your hand all of the grooves and the cuss in it just kind of conforms to your hand and allows you to get a lot of good grip now 
if I could change one thing about this case, just one thing, you see how you have this material right here on the power button? Add that same material right here along the sides of this case. It's not bad grip, but just adding that little bit will give it just that little bit more grip that you make that make it a little bit more better. That's all I got to say about it, man. This case keeps the phone fairly thin as well. You already know dropping down on wireless charging works just fine as well, man. So here it is, Fusion X from Ring K 11 Pro Max right now. And I just turned on the flashlight, but right now, my current daily driver when we're talking about cases. So here is the whole lineup from Spigen, man. Air S, Fusion Clear, Onyx, and the Fusion X. Now, you already know Fusion X is what I currently use on my iPhone. That is my day-to-day -day case if you catch me out here in the streets man but first off go ahead and drop down below and look at the description we do have a promo code and a promotional link so head over to the ring case amazon webpage definitely check the case out tell them technically t sent you you already know hit that sub button man if you rock with your boy and on your way out smash that like button but until next time later